Oroville is an international township located in the south of India. It was founded in 1968 as an experiment in human unity with the support of UNESCO and the Indian government. Today we're going to discuss the Oroville Residents Assembly and the role that it plays in making sure that human unity is a priority over development and division. Let's start with the Oroval Foundation. It was established by an act of Indian Parliament in 1988. And what most people don't know outside of Oroval is that it consists of three authorities: a governing board, a residents assembly, and an international advisory council. Let's start by asking, what is the Oroval Residents Assembly? According to section 18 of the Oroval Foundation Act, the residents assembly shall consist of all the residents of Oroville who are for the time being entered in the register of residents maintained under this section. On a separate note, residents with the status of confirmed Orovillians can also participate in a residents assembly decision as per an announcement made by the working committee on the 5th of April 2021. and the interim RAD policy of 2021 so how can the residents assembly make decisions initiating a residents assembly decision making process requires a collection of 60 or more signatures and to submit the petition to the resident assembly service the RAS will process data by counting signatures and make sure that all signatories are members of the residents assembly They will also remove duplicates and validate the petition. The Oroville Council, the Oroville Town Development Council, the Entry Board, the Financial and Assets Management Committee or FAMC for short, and Working Committee can also initiate a residents assembly decision. It is important to note that the petition itself is not a decision of the resident assembly. and there is no need to collect a large number of signatures to initiate an RAD it can actually make the verification procedure longer and more cumbersome there is also no need to call for a counter residents assembly decision or revoke an already submitted and validated RAD request as it says no simultaneous residents assembly decision making on the same subject or proposal will be entertained by the RAS in other words no overlapping residents assembly decision making should be requested by any of the above entities on the same topic those who disagree with a proposal topic which is already going through the decision making process can voice their concerns in resident assembly meetings or simply vote against that proposal topic The residents assembly service will organize at least two residents assembly meetings to discuss the proposal. Then the RAS will inform the entire community about the outcome of the meeting and invite feedback. At the end of the follow-up meeting, the resident assembly facilitator will check with the participants of the meeting if there is a common agreement to accept suggested voting options. and bring a refined proposal or topic out to the community for a final decision through voting the residents assembly service will organize and facilitate as many meetings as necessary until a residents assembly decision proposal is refined and a decision to be arrived at in the rad is conclusive the residents assembly service will then send a voting link to all eligible residents for the online voting and will make all necessary arrangements for the voting in person the voting period shall last for at least 2 weeks in the case of an emergency residents assembly decision according to the rad policy 2021 only in emergencies as assessed by the working committee will the residents assembly service call for an emergency residents assembly decision making within a shorter period without the matter having been discussed 
in one or more earlier meetings. In other words, the working committee can fast track a resident's assembly decision by requesting the resident's assembly service announce it as an emergency resident's assembly decision. The resident's assembly service does not have the authority to call for emergency RAD without a clear statement from the working committee. On the other hand, once the petition is filed and the RAD due process starts, no working groups, including the working committee, can stop the resident's assembly decision process. For more information about Oroville and how it works, you can follow the links in the description below this video. Thanks for stopping by and please don't forget to subscribe on your way out.